Hello again everyone, as usual, I'm BuffBun, today we are back with another episode of Stone Block 2. Now last episode we kind of did just like a little bit of a recap episode, uh, plus we also did a little bit of, uh, uh, what was it, uh, quest accepting. Um, that we made this armor here, which is pretty freaking cool if you ask me. Um, and that's about it. Yesterday was uh, a bit of a light episode, um, if you ask me. Uh, but this episode, I'm actually planning on doing relatively a lot. Um, now, I did want to try and get a bunch of quests done, but depending on how the first set of quests goes, I guess we'll find out. So, uh, let's get right into it. Right away, uh, let me shut this off. Uh, right away, I wanted to actually get working on these singularities. Uh, I have basically everything set up. Uh, let me show you guys what I've got going on here. Wow, this uh, FOV is insane now with this new armor. Uh, anyway, so in our secret room over here that's now so secret, I have set up chicken coops with, uh, let's see, 12, no, 16 chickens of each type funneling down into a uh, compacting drawer uh, of each type. And some of them are already full, which is amazing. Um, and then what I have going on here is they'll pull out the block form of whatever, and then we're going to throw it into a... Um, uh, what is it? Compressor? Uh, no, it's not right there. Uh, com there it is. Neutronium compressor? Yeah, neutronium compressor. Okay, there we go. Uh, so yeah, we're going to throw them into no uh, neutronium compressors, which are then going to pull out the singularities and throw them down into here. Uh, also, I have hooked this up to our uh, chicken system that way whenever uh, our uh, system oh dear whenever our system out here fills up it'll automatically funnel into this system over here uh, if it's automatically full over here then it just stockpiles so yeah uh, also I've set up a little area over here uh, in preparation for our uh, Let's see, fluxed singularity. Uh, I've already got electrum chickens in here, uh, redstone chickens in here, and sand chickens. Uh, the electrum chickens we are, uh, if I'm not mistaken, going to pulverize down, and then the redstone we're going to melt down with a magma crucible, turn into buckets of uh, liquid redstone. Uh, then we're going to send the pulverized electrum and the liquid redstone, or, sorry, the buckets of liquid redstone into a crafter, uh, right here, uh, into a craft here, uh, actually, let me set up briefly. So, what we're doing is pulverizing this stuff, then magma crucible and fluid transposing this stuff into buckets, taking the buckets and the pulverized stuff, throwing it into a crafter, and then taking the, uh, fluxed electrum blend that we just crafted and then throwing it into an induction smelter where the sand is going to be thrown into alongside the fluxed electrum br uh, blend turning it into fluxed electrum and then finally going into the compacting drawer it is a long arduous task but it's possible it's just annoying so yeah uh, also we're going to almost certainly need more uh, machines than just what we got there. Uh, but anyway, uh, now I've basically shown you guys what's going on, let's actually start making these. We need 13 neutronium compressors, and that's it. Uh, so let's come over here. Now I noticed each one needs a block of this, so we need 13 blocks. There we go. And then we need hoppers. Actually, I could probably just get hoppers. Yeah. I don't know how many we needed. Uh, let's see, we need iron blocks, and we need crystal matrix ingots. Uh, let's get a couple stacks of that, and then we need some uh, crystal matrix, uh, matrix ingots, which apparently we don't have. So let me make one in here quick. Where did it go? There it is. Okay, let me register it in here. There we go. Nice. And then what else did we need? We needed some redstone and neutronium ingots. Then we're going to need some of these. Okay, hopefully that'll be good. 
All right, so I noticed that this goes right in the middle. Then we need boom, boom. And then we need, okay, so hoppers at the top. There we go. And then it was uh, like this, I believe, right? And then, let's see. Okay, so on the top, it's all iron. Come on. Okay, let's actually do it this way. Boom, boom, and then, you know what, F it, I'm just going to do it this way. Wow, we actually had enough for 13. Oh, because of the block stuff. I'm an idiot. Okay, so let's just throw everything back in here. And we do have the no uh, Neutronium Compressors, which is another quest, but we're not going to worry about that just yet. Now, the only thing I'm worried about is maybe... Uh, the um, transfer, no uh, the item conduits, sorry, are not going to be quick enough. That's the thing I'm worried about. Actually, it looks like it's pretty good. It looks like the thing that's slow is the neutronium compressor itself. So, by setting all these up, everything is going to automatically funnel into them. Yeah, okay. See so yeah, how the slow one is the uh, uh, the machine itself. Okay, so that can sit there working uh, for now. Uh, hopefully it'll be, uh, at least one singularity will be made by time, oh dear, by time uh, we end the episode. Uh, so let's continue onward. There we go. Uh, let's open the quests. Uh, let's go into Draconic Evolution, because we do need to do some more stuff in here. Uh, let's work on the Draconic Armor sets, because uh, we definitely need those. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. What was I going to do? There we go, Draconic. Okay, so we need Wyvern Armor first. So we need to make sure we have cores. Okay... Uh, we need Draconium, and then we need the Energy Cores, which we do not have. Draconium, and then we need to make the Energy Cores, which is a Draconic Core, Redstone, and that. Um, it was Redstone Blocks, right? Yes, okay. And then... It was Draconium, right? Yes, okay, so I can make that now. Okay, get that. Register it. Get a couple more. One, two, three, four. Okay, uh, I think I can craft them all now. No, I'm missing the diamond uh, stuff. Okay. And I don't have diamond armor. That's annoying. All right, boom, boom. Also, I don't know why there's no music in the background. I have music set to uh, on, but I guess it just doesn't want to play. Although, watch it. Now that I actually talked about it, uh, it's going to start playing in like a minute. Okay. So we have that all now. Now let's craft up these. One, two, three... Four, and now we can register these as well. Okay, so now I think we need to infuse them. Yeah, fusion, uh, fu it, whatever. Uh, okay, so we need the draconic energy core now. So we need four cores, wyvern core, and then awakened draconium. So... There we go. That should be it, right? I believe. Nice. Okay. And then we can do that. Uh, aren't those quests? No, the flux capacitors. Okay, whatever. Okay, but we do need four of these. One, two. Oh, they stack. Okay. Uh, let me, let me get everything together real quick. So, boom, 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 boom. Okay, so I need one for each. Alright, uh, one, 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 one. Okay, so what else do I need to upgrade these? It is an awakened core and then two of those. Okay. Oh, I don't 
have awakened core, uh, cores yet. How do I make an awakened core? Oh, okay. But it does have EMC, so if we make one, we should be good. So we need four wyvern, then five awakened draconium. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And one, two, three, four. Okay, so let me just stash all of that. And I need to do that. Okay, so one, two, three, four. It doesn't matter how you put it in, so whatever. Then one, two, three, four, five. And then I need a nether star. There we go. Throw that in here. Start that up. And that's going to go. That's going really fast. Holy crud. Also, in case you guys didn't notice, I did expand our cobblestone uh, generation here. Um, before we had 48, now we have 108 uh, things. So, if my math is correct, we get a um, uh, a new octuple compressed cobble... There's the music. Octuple compressed cobble every 5.5 hours. So, it's really helpful. Okay, anyway. That's that. And now we need just two awakened draconium. for each. There we go. Okay, so... Uh, let me... Okay, each of them need that. Each of them need that. And then... Two... One, two, three, four. There we go. And now we actually want a hopper. There we go. And once we're done with this... Uh, I am going to work on getting a tablet. And wait, what? Wait, what? Uh, what? Awakened core, draconic energy core, to draconium. Oh, I see what I did wrong here. I'm an idiot. Okay, so I need this. That's what I needed. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. There we go. Okay, so that's going to work on that. I actually want to see if our power is uh, draining at all. That will be interesting to see. Oh my god. Nope. We have so much power going on that it's not even draining. The only problem I noticed is these things are still producing power because these cables are still uh, empty. I totally forgot about that because uh, our our reactor down below is outputting directly into the bottom of this, not into the side where everything else is uh, inputting into. So yeah, it's kind of funny. Anyway, let's come over here. It should be at least two done. Oh yeah. Nice. This thing is so good. And boom, nice. Thank you. So cool. And about halfway. And boom, nice. Love it. Okay, so we got those done now. Uh, we can't do the chaotic core just yet. We can't do that. Um, let's see. I mean, we could work on these, I guess. That's not a bad idea. Now, let's work on the flux capacitors. Okay. So, I need... Boom, boom. Uh, I'm going to need that. Okay, that should be it. I might need fusion for the second one, though, for the second tier. Draconic flux. What? Wait, what? How did I complete this one already? I don't have one. Do I? I don't. What? 
Okay, that that must be glitched. I'm still gonna make one regardless. Oh. Let me do that. Cause I feel like that's cheating. Wait, did that just take my base capacitor? I think it did. It did. God dang it. <laughs> That's why you always need to register them immediately. Okay, so we got that. Uh, these can be EMC'd? That's cool. Alrighty. Uh... And real quick, I just gotta show you guys this armor. If you guys have never seen it, it looks ridiculous. <laughs> like, look at that! The maker of the Draconic Evolution mod did not have to go this in-depth with uh, modeling the armor. It is ridiculous. And then here's this one, which is even worse. <laughs> oh, it looks so ridiculous, dude. Like, it looks like I have, like, a massive, like, fluffy collar or something like that going on. It's so weird. I don't know. But this armor is actually the best armor you can get, uh, kind of early game. Uh, or early game. Um, uh, early end game, I suppose. Uh, not including the infinity armor. The only question is, is this better than our gem armor? I'm not sure. Uh, there's only one real way to test that. Uh, fighting the Chaos Chicken, really. Um, we're not gonna do that today, obviously. Uh, you can, in fact, upgrade these, though. Um, here. Let's see if I can find one or two. Here we go. Okay, yeah. So you can upgrade the armor. There it is. With, uh, like, for example, the movement speed. Um, or, like, with the shield capacity or shield recovery, uh, jump boost, that kind of stuff. So it actually is really helpful. Um, and then, while fighting the, uh, the Chaos Chicken, we might need to make a Draconic Sword? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this thing gets better or not. But, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, um, so we got that all going on for us. Uh, I will get two more armor stands for our new armor sets and let's check on what the what the hello there we go that was weird it wouldn't let me fly oh yeah yeah we got singularities we got singularities going on over there oh baby yup it's there I love how you can see them through the world. That's not at all supposed to happen, but it does. Alright, there we go. And we're gonna leave the middle for our infinity armor when we finally get it. Uh, yeah. That's, uh, pretty good, actually. Boom. Boom. Oh, we don't have lapis yet. Why don't we have lapis yet? Oh, it's not set to insert. There we go. Okay. Take you, 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 take you. Is this one? Yeah, that one's also set like that. And take you. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all them. Oh my god. All right. Now, how do we make the infinity catalyst? Um. Okay. So we're gonna need a lot more stuff here. But, first things first, we can do this. Oh yeah! That's what I'm talking about. That is what I am talking about. I'm so happy. Alright, so, since we're over here, uh, let us actually make this system. So, I already threw all of the uh, conduits and everything into here. So I think we're going to get, let's just start off with like two pulverizers for this side. Um, let's get another pulverizer. Okay, and then we also need a... Uh, oh, can I not get resonant things in there? Oh, I guess I can't. Okay. Uh, also, I don't think either of these pulverizers... Yeah, they're not upgraded. Okay. I 
wonder if our yada wrench works on these. Oh well. Anyway, uh, then we're also gonna need. I don't have augments in there, really. Ugh. Again, here's another reason why you always need to throw everything into your uh, EMC grid. There we go. Okay, so uh, I need a bunch of these. That works. Okay, so let's get these two pulverizers. Let's throw them. Let's throw them like this. We're also going to need power in here, I just realized. Frick. Hmm. Wait a minute. Oh, dang it. Um. Hey, there we go. I made this while on uh, stream to test it out. Uh, no, I need, uh... Okay, here we go. Uh, so this thing does not create energy, uh, but it does transfer it uh, wirelessly. Uh, so what we did is we ended up making this thing right here, a Spectre Energy Injector. You throw power into it, and then you can take power out of it wirelessly with this thing right here. So basically, we could transfer it from our main power to wherever just by using this little thing here. Um, it does not have EMC, though. That blows. Okay. So I think what we're going to have to do is... Does it connect directly to a cable? Probably not. No. Okay, so we're going to need a capacitor. Do we... Can we... Uh, Okay, capacitor can be thrown in here. Good. Okay, so let's just do this so we can have uh, something to go on. Um, I think I'll just throw it up here. Why not? Um, and then throw this on the side. No. Input. Okay, so now this thing is accepting power. That's good. Uh, so now we can pump power to wherever we need it. Uh, let's, uh, let's just start on the bottom here. I'll put... There we go. Okay, so we're gonna need it to come over here. And I'm just gonna run it like this, I guess. Um, sure, that's fine. Okay, so these things should have power now. Insert. And I'm gonna have them take in from the back. And then push out from the side, in from the back, out from the side, and then uh, we're going to need some conduits. There we go. Uh, also, eh, I'll get to that. Okay, so these are going to output into the crafter, which I think I can handle everything with one crafter. It should work. Okay, so let's throw the crafter right down there. Extract, extract. And then throw into here. Insert. Uh, actually, I will break this temporarily. Okay, so remove that. Remove that. Remove that. Remove that. Remove that. And then insert into here. Insert into here. Okay, that's good. Alright, so we got half of the, the thing done. So now, oh, actually, let's turn this, um, hmm, let's turn it around. Oh, okay, apparently you can do it up, I did not know that. <laughs> that works. Okay, but anyway, now let's get, um, uh, let's see. I'm thinking one fluid transposer should actually work. Uh, but we're going to need a couple magma crucibles feeding it, if I had to guess. So, let's do this. Let's get another magma, uh, yeah, magma crucible. Uh, magma crucible, then we're going to need a couple, uh, resonant, uh, uh conversion kits. We're going to need two. Uh, 
Is something broken? Uh, I think something's broken. That's not good. Everything should be working fine. Why is it not working fine? I'm missing a couple bronze? Where'd they go? Let's try this again. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's just make 10. Why not? It's still left with two. Okay, something's broken here. I'll have to check that out uh, off camera. Okay, I told it to make 10. What in the world? Whatever, I'll, I'll have to look at that uh, uh, off camera at some point. That is very broken, in fact. Okay. Anyway. Um, okay, so we need to knock one on there, then we need that, and we need to knock one on there. Uh, oh, whoops, I did this the wrong way around. I'm like, wait, that's not right. Okay, so transposer, crucible. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is input from the side, then output on the bottom, in, uh, input from the top, output on the side. There we go. And then input on the top and the side for that, and then I'm going to have the buckets. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to have the buckets come in from the back. Is red a bucket? Here, let, let me test it. I need a bucket. So let me throw a stack of buckets in there. That would be that. Um, suppose I could do a blue to pull in from the back. Okay, so I'm going to... That, that is so weird. Uh, I'm going to have to do this a little differently then. Okay, so this needs to insert on the gray channel. Light gray works. here, and then I need a, a filter. Oh, come on, really? Okay, so come up here, then extract on the light gray channel. I need a bucket for the filter. So extract only the bucket. Um, let's see. Okay, so I think... Let's see, and then from here... Actually, we do need it over here. Okay. We're going to need to extract on red. And that will be the there we go. That will be the bucket of redstone that we need to insert on red. That will be the bucket of redstone. Okay, so let me put in four, maybe. No, let's put in eight right away. Okay, so throw that in there. Uh, these all need power, so forgot about that. Um, ba -ba -ba. Insert, 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 and then it needs to be pulled out. Redstone, I mean. I'm hoping this is going to be enough. Okay. So then, insert into there. 
insert into there. Okay, so that is throwing redstone into there. That's good. It is taking in a lot of redstone, though. Um, I can give it the augments. I forgot about that. Oop, there we go. Augments, augments, there we go. Okay. So the first eight slots are going to be the redstone. Then everything else is going to be the electrum blend. And as soon as that is set, I will make recipes. I will add the power, and then we can throw that into the induction smelter with the sand. Okay, so that is everything then. It's still going really slow, though. I might need to make more. I'm probably going to need to make more. I'm almost certainly going to need to make more. Um, anyway, so then let's just fill the rest of this. Oh, do we want to do that? Maybe we'll add one, two, three, four, five more. Why not? Okay. Remember those items. <clears throat> So now we can do that. Uh oh. No, no, no. Okay. Hopefully that didn't mess anything up. Uh, I don't think it would have. Okay. So that's now outputting into there. Uh, those are going to output well. Okay, so now let's get the flux to blend. Uh, let's see. All, uh, all items in output slot are consumed, yes. Result of crafting operation will go into output buffer. Uh, no, everything will go into output. Yes. And I want to do that a couple times just to make sure that it. Damn. Just to make sure that it actually is fast enough. Why can't I do that again? Really? You're really going to make me do this manually? The uh, a lot of people don't realize this. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, but the more crafting uh, recipes you actually make, the quicker it does go. Uh, why do I keep doing that? Um, uh, basically, what happens is you tell it uh, to make this one recipe eight different times, uh, so it'll actually work at making it like that. Okay, so there we go. Good. Okay, so now we want uh, over here, let's see, let's get the induction smelter, put it on there, uh, insert, extract, but we do need to put a filter on it, uh, blacklisting the bucket. There we go. That way it doesn't try to take the bucket out. Uh, but everything else, it will. Okay, so now let us give it power. Nice. And the buckets are being thrown right back into there. Being thrown right over into here. Um, I guess this thing doesn't have everything set up correctly. Uh, so on the top is going to be the flux thing where we're going to put the sand. Then the back is going to be the other input, uh, input, which is purple. And then the bottom is going to be the output. Um, we don't, okay, we don't get any slag from that. Good. Uh, it should be going in. Is it because it doesn't have the sand? This armor does make it difficult to uh, uh, 
build and stuff. I gotta say. Okay, something weird's going on here. Why is it not working? Oh, because it's... Wow. Um... Oh, that's not... Okay. But that is working. Okay. So now we do need a, uh resonant thing if it'll work um I guess let's try and make 10 again it's probably gonna get stuck on the bronze again though I don't know why the bronze is so difficult to make though that's the problem yeah see it just got stuck again hopefully we at least have one yeah we at least have one okay so yeah that's definitely a big problem go and now we can quite simply take this throw it down here insert and extract and then it should go directly into there uh or not what the what Also, I did notice that it is actually EMCable. Why is it? Oh, is it going now? It is. It's just slow pulling it out, it looks like. Okay, so this is constantly full. This is constantly working at making the redstone, though. So even with two magma crucibles, it still cannot keep up. Okay. Uh, this, on the other hand, wow, it also can't really keep up. Okay. So I'm probably going to have to expand this a lot off camera. Uh, but for the time being, it is working. Um, here, let me take this. Uh, I don't have a filter in there yet, apparently. Okay, so let me get a filter. Throw it in here. Set it to the fluxed block and activate there we go all right so it's going to be slow but it is going to work so that is promising okay nice all right but anyway uh we are going over on time uh i'm gonna have to leave this uh going like this next time we're gonna pick up uh pick up pick up uh doing something oh wait actually you know what Let, let's uh do this why not Okay, let's see what all we actually got. Oh, look at that. Resonant conversion kits. Draconium chest. Okay. Imaginary time block. That's good. A drop of evil. Uh, spawner changer. Uh, epic bacon. Is that better? No, I don't think it is. One, two, three, four and a half. One, two, three, four, five. It has better saturation, but this has better overall food. Um, yeah, nothing too terribly good here. Just be careful. Don't throw away stuff we need. Okay. Alright, so then the rest of this we could just throw in the system. There we go. Okay, but anyway, uh, like I said, we are going to have to pick up next time with doing something else. Um, let's see. What, what should we do? Oh, right. Uh, I want to work on making the uh, trans, uh, transmuta transmutation tablet and the EMC link. Those two are going to be extremely helpful with everything that we uh, need to do. Look at that. We already got two singularities of emerald. Holy crud. Yeah, so this one right here definitely needs uh, work. I'm probably going to have to expand it a lot off camera. Uh, but anyway, that is going to have to be it for this episode then. If you guys did enjoy, then please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you, and have a great day then. Goodbye. I would like to give a massive shout out to my first ever Patreon backer, Nancy. I can't even begin to explain how much your support means to me. So thank you. Thank you very, very much. If you'd like to see your name at the end of my videos, just follow the Patreon link in the description below.